hello everyone welcome again and uh, today i'm going to show you one more new project on uh, for a minor project for college submission and all so this project uh, the online book store like uh, you want to search any book on the website you can search it and easily download the pdf file and use it as you want so here is some modules in this uh, java project uh, like login logout module contact us and uh, home categories you can search the book category wise and uh, like you can search the book by name also and if you have any query you can contact us okay so that's why there is a contact us page okay so in this project i use mostly jsp pages or uh, as a backend mysql and uh, as an editor of MySQL, I use uh, Workbench, MySQL Workbench. So I created database and uh, create uh, some code for the application. And uh, as an IDE, I use Nightwin. You can see here in Nightwin, there is a project to book my store, and all the files are there. And uh, mostly, I use JSP files. So I want to show you how to create. Uh, a uh, complete project in JSP only. Okay, so first I'm going to show you demo how it will work. So if some new user is coming inside, so he's going to register your uh, your uh, register himself. So first I'm going to show you the register table in database. So that's cool. so there is a database for this application. So I want to go select a strict from register table. I want to show you this data. Okay, these some entries are there. So I'm going to enter a new entry from here. So the entry is like demo one is a name, it's a contact for demo purpose. Okay, email is like demo one at the rate gmail gmail.com and password is demo1 and again demo1 click on from the password when user click on register just page is redirected registration is successful and page is redirected on a login page so for a login form user has to use email id and password so i use email is like uh, first i'm going to show you on a register table the data will update or not so i'm going to execute it again so you can see here the entry number seven the demo one and the gmail id is demo one at the rate gmail.com and password is demo one so i'm going to use this credential this demo uh, g email and uh, password here okay so email is like uh, demo one at the rate gmail.com and the password is demo one so as i click on login okay all the details are here in your profile page user profile page so welcome the name of the user demo one and his mail id and his contact number okay you can add more items from here like so that's why if you want to add some more item you can edit the page uh, the page is like user profile that is a complete code you can change here and add more data if you want add okay and display as you want you can change the design also you can change the data also so it's a, a best application which you can uh, develop according to you want for your college submission and your uh, project okay so if user uh, want to log out so user can easily click on this button log out the session is in now so first if a user will come on, on a home screen if user want to search some book Okay, like I want uh, there is some entries, some books are there in database. Like I'm going to show you the um, book table. So book, I'm going to run it. So there is some book like Amazon and uh, description, book description, book author name and uh, book uh, path and uh, book category, which types of category books. So the name of book book name is Amazon. So I'm going to search it first. As I write here Amazoni and click on this button search, there is full description about button uh, about the book 
Amazon ebook or the flow story and there is some uh, there is a download button if you want to add some more uh, tables of more uh, record here book description book uh, author name and all the details you can add easily so for add easily you have to edit on the book.jsv file so just go and book.jsv file and you can add from here all the data retrieves here already you have to just changes here uh, you have to all the book book name here book description here book location here so you have to retrieve data and print as you want okay so uh, when user hit on the download button the specified path is open where the PDF is uh, book PDF so user can download easily this PDF or read online okay so where you have to put your uh, pdf files in your id so just there is a folder pdf in pdf folder just write that pdf just copy the files and paste here android.pdf java.pdf as you want i use some demo pdf only <coughs> and uh, if you want the user want to contact us and so that's why there is a contact page so i'm going to show you first the contact table book contact so there is some contact already so I'm going to a uh, I'm going to create a new contact so like username is demo one and phone number is something and email ID is like demo one at the rate gmail.com comment question is like as user want to ask some question submit start the data is inserted i forgot to redirect the pages again on home directory you can easily change this in your uh, uh, project and uh, edit okay so now i'm going to check the table again so there is demo one entries here also again one more entry is here demo one demo, demo one at the at gmail.com contact number then query okay and uh, when you go on category module so there is a page for category wise i divided the books in category when user uh, when you can see here the book table book so here is a column b category the book category the different different types of categories book are there if user want to search like user want to search biography or other categories so just copy biography yeah. these are the categories that are present in portal like example and I'm going to search biography so there is Amazon is a biography something when user click on again download so go on again same path okay. and uh, I'm going to uh, deploy uh, I'm going to uh, upload all the files on uh, my Google Drive you can download it easily and when you are going to use it just you have to configure some system like NetBean you need to NetBean ID 8.0 just make a demo project and copy all the files there for database connectivity for database you have to uh, you have to go on MySQL workbench install a software in your machine and uh, just to go uh, just import all the database file I will provide you and uh, import this file easily how to import the database file my uh, I make a video uh, I already made a video on that so just uh, go and watch how to import file in uh, database file in your workbench then one more important thing you need java configuration file is like a mysql connector which will help you to connect to this one as a server i am using glassview server you can use as you want like tomcat and all uh, tomcat and any other uh, which you have and uh, you can see the code here the index some some limited uh, uh, files are there and if you can see some separate folders either css inside the css all the css are there inside the images all the images i use there 
and that when, when I use PDF this is a different uh, folder PDF and all the JSPs file is here and uh, glassfish server 4 and uh, 8.1 ZDK and the major question is how to use and how to configure this project on your system so in future I will going to make uh, another video which will show you how to download the files and how to deploy on your machine a new project okay and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like my projects so please subscribe my channel and uh, download freely easily and if you have any query if you have any problem to create database connectivity and make a small project minor projects for your college submission and all so please comment me thank you so much for watching